All right, guys. So last episode, we got a, a crazy killer bunny. Um, we got probably one of the rarest killer bunnies. And um, yeah, which one is that one? None of these ones. It is a killer bunny who doesn't kill. It's uh, it's crazy. Can we see the name tag there? We might have to jump in here. Yeah, entity killer bunny dot name on a regular rabbit that doesn't attack me. Very, very interesting. I, you know, personally, I think this is really, really cool. Um, and something even more interesting is this isn't on the wiki yet. So today's episode, everybody, instead of getting another unobtainable, I mean, we kind of already did by renaming those killer bunnies in the intro, but instead of just getting a new unobtainable, we are going to be building a wiki page together. Uh, I thought this was a really cool idea. And actually last episode was originally gonna be what I'm doing now, but uh, I found out that the page I was gonna make was already made and so, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so to start making a page, you just want to search for the page that you want, and then you'll see a little red link that says entity killer bunny dot name named regular rabbit. However, I don't necessarily think this is the greatest uh, way to do this because there's a couple other things that you may want to take into account when creating a page. So uh, what you might want to do, because this is related to the killer rabbit, let's just type in killer rabbit here, and we can see that this already has some pages here. So let's just click on the killer rabbit page and we already have a bunch of information here about the killer rabbit and how to get it. Um, so let's go ahead and quickly look at some things here. So yeah, this page doesn't really have anything that mentions that you can get a um, killer bunny that isn't ne necessarily a killer bunny, but in my opinion, I think it is very much related. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to this page and add a link from here to the other one. But for the time being, we're just gonna type in this and this is gonna be the name of our page. Entity.killerbunny.name named regular rabbit. So let's click that and we're gonna create the page. Okay, so I ended up just making the page. Uh, I did record myself making the page, but I was bumbling through it because I kind of didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> so. I decided to scrap that and just uh, show you guys the page and then kind of go over how to make a page and some good practices you can follow. So yeah, uh, this is a very rudimentary page. This is kind of the stage that I would think is expected for someone who is introducing an unobtainable or making a new page to get it to. And then the community will further refine it from here. Um, and it can be further and further refined from here. But this I would say is a fairly good spot to get a page. Um, because it uh, it contains uh, the two main sections or the three main things that I think any page needs, which is a basic description of what it is, a picture of it, and then a method of how to obtain it. Um, and then if that's all done, the rest is pretty much um, just polished. So yeah, let's quickly go over some of the basics that I think are super important to have. Um, a picture of the unobtainable is super nice to have because it uh, just gives people a visual representation of what they're actually after. Uh, version range, obviously super important so you know which version to load up of the game. A basic description is always nice even if it's pretty self-explanatory, like this is very self-explanatory, but this description gives uh, people a nice kind of concise, uh, you know, just information about it or whatever. And then of course the method to obtain it. So this one, I just said there's a one in 2,500 chance for any rabbit that goes through another portal or end portal to acquire the name. And uh, that is with persistence required zero B. So to do this, just send rabbits to any end or nether portal and check if any have the name on the other side. This process can be made easier by cycling the same set of rabbits to the same portal over and over again. Pretty simple, um, very basic page. I also said it could be possible for breeding, but I added a little box window here saying this is a work in progress. And then I just said that it's still in research phase. And then I went ahead and just made sure that the uh, categories that this unobtainable in were all covered here. So it's an entity unobtainable, it's a mob, it's a passive mob, and it is a directly observable unobtainable. So those are a bunch of categories that this falls under. 
And then uh, that pretty much sums up what I wanted to do. Now, to make an, a wiki page, uh, this is the best way I found to do it, um, which is going to an existing wiki page that has some formatting here. So I went to the killer bunny and I went to the edit page and I went to source editing and I was shown this, uh, you know, nitty gritty stuff here. And I just went ahead and copied this and then inputted my own information. Uh, you may be wondering how I got my own screenshot onto the wiki. Uh, there's a way to upload images. So if you go to the wiki homepage and you go to how to create a page and then go down here, right here is an uploaded image thing where you can go ahead and upload any image. It will, and then you'll name it. And then you just call that image name in your wiki page. So if we go back to the page I made um, and we go here to edit, Uh, look at this. You can see I'm calling what I named the image that I uploaded. So I'm calling that image. It's going to get displayed. And uh, yeah, I also noticed just to keep with parity, I'm going to delete this here uh, because the other pages don't seem to be doing that. So we're going to do that. Um, let's actually, I saw another typo somewhere right here. Bam. Okay. So there we go. Um, we're going to do that. Do some quick changes there. And yeah, just it keeps the parity a little bit and uh, yeah, perfect. I don't really think there's a need for more images uh, for of this unobtainable. I think it's pretty self-explanatory uh, with this image, um, but if people want to upload more, they totally can and or make better pictures of this. I think they also can do that as well. Um, in fact, I was thinking, you know what? Let's go together and make a better screenshot of this. All right, perfect. Look at that. Perfect image. Nice. All right, there we go. I just uploaded my uh, better screenshot, I think. It's a little bit weird with this particle. Uh, okay, well, let's add it. Let's see how this one fares, I think, in this uh, picture here. So if we edit this. Do that and then just save. See how that looks. Yeah, I think that's a better image for it. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So you can kind of see how that image thing works. Um, and as far as I'm aware, we have gotten the page to the best place possible. Um, I'm going to quickly show you guys the source here. Yeah, so it's very simple. Um, but I will link this page and then all the pages I use to gather like these information things here. I don't think these need to be spaced the way they are either. Okay, so we have successfully added something to the wiki or the discontinued features wiki more specifically. And uh, the one thing that the community wanted me to uh, quickly mention, I guess, in this video for you guys who may now go make a bunch of pages is uh, there's a discord that you guys can collaborate on to make those pages better, to talk with people about unobtainables and to get more information about unobtainables, learn more about unobtainables, and just learn pretty much anything about discontinued features you could imagine, all in one Discord server that is growing like crazy. Um, there's a link in all of my videos to this Discord server, okay? Every single video, at, at least of unobtained for sure. I, I think my other videos have it as well, um, where you can click that link and you can go and join the Discord. Now, if you... Um, want to talk to me as well you can join me in that discord i don't really run my personal discord anymore uh, i still have it but it, it really is just i seem to just uh, i don't know it, it seems more active at the discontinued features one or afterlife so if you want to reach me those are the two discord servers you can find me at and of course if you want to join the discontinued features uh, discord there's so many people there that know so much more about uh, discontinued features than me that uh, you'll probably learn a lot more just in the Discord than watching my videos. Um, so, yeah, definitely, definitely join the Discord. Um, I learn a lot from those guys all the time. So, yeah, check it out. Uh, I just found this. Um, I've been walking around my world getting ready to do this little project I'm going to show you guys. And I saw this. Ah, nope, don't knock me down. Nope, bad zombie. Uh, bad zombies. Okay. Wow, is this filled up? Yeah. Um, okay, I I hooked this up to a hopper clock, I believe, is what I did. And ever since then, it's just been going while I've been in the area. And uh, now we have so much sugar cane. It's, it's amazing. 
automation is great. So let's, uh, let's put this all in here and let it fill up again. Um, okay. So project, what was I getting ready to show you guys? Well, I have been a busy guy on my world. Um, I've been doing a little bit of kind of decoration. As you can see over here, I've been working on this area. It's still not great, but you can see I've added a nice pathway here. Um, yeah, I did an, I tried a waterfall and I did this little kind of overhang here, which looks kind of nice. And then I went down here and I dug out the tunnel to the area 51. Oh, we've got some mobs over here. Anyways, what I wanted to do is I wanted to decorate this tunnel with terracotta and glowstone. So we're going to do that now. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to do for the rest of this episode. This episode was kind of an odd one because I was showing off something that's not really to do with my world. So I just wanted to do a few things in the world and kind of show you guys some of the behind the scenes of um, decorating it and keeping things looking nice. Uh, because I don't really show that very often. And I also wanted to quickly mention while I do this that uh, I got to 20,000 subscribers um, earlier today, which was super cool um, the day that I'm recording this clip specifically. So um, I'm super happy about that. I really am excited to see where this goes this year. Um, you guys have been an awesome just community to be a, a creator for, I guess. I don't know how else to say it, but I really thank you guys for joining me and those who have stuck by me for all these uh, years um, that I've been making videos. And um, yeah, here is to a really solid next year, um, 2024. It's So far, it's been an amazing year for me on YouTube. So I'm looking forward to uh, what goes on. Anyways, I'm going to uh, catch you guys later after I put this together. Okay, it's almost done. I don't know what to do for the uh, roof and floor yet. So I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below and I'll do that. So yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching the episode. Uh, I apologize if it's a little bit more of a different one that you weren't expecting, but I hope you got some value out of it anyways. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And then as per tradition, I think I forgot last episode, but... Usually I talk about something or read a comment or something like that um, at the end of my episode. So that's what we're going to do today. So I got a comment last episode saying that adding music would really help my videos, basically. And uh, I wanted to kind of touch on that a little bit because I have been of two opinions with music and videos um, in all of my videos that I've made and videos that I've watched. Uh, I find it's a very, very fine balance between overwhelming and underwhelming um so generally i try and just not put any music in when it doesn't necessarily fit um now what i mean by that is sometimes when you're watching a video and there's background music that background music doesn't really line up with the cadence of the video and um a lot of times when i'm editing in post i you know i don't really think about the cadence of the video until much later on and by the time I've already edited things together, I think it's really hard for me to find music that matches the cadence that I've edited. Um, so this could be a, a problem of the way I'm making videos and I could have to re kind of figure that out. I don't necessarily know because videos do follow a cadence essentially. Um, and the videos in which I have music and it fits well, you can really tell it, it really helps pace the video and it's really amazing um, and it comes together really nice. But the videos where I don't find music that matches whatever I've edited together, I think it just feels off to me, and so I just leave it out. But um, yeah, I think music does add a lot of depth to a video and makes it a lot nicer to watch. And is again, it really helps with that cadencing and like sequencing of a video. Um, and it's something that I think with like more practice and more like feedback, I would get better at. I really. I'm not very good at cadencing videos currently. Um, there's some videos where I've noticed it does feel really good and well paced and then other videos it just doesn't. And music really is just complementing the pace of the video um, in my experience. So yeah, basically I'm kind of inexperienced in the way of which how to include music in a way in which it feels good and it um, makes the, it enhances the video in a nice way. So um, yeah. <laughs>